Hi Nikki, um, this is going to be your first lesson on the baritone and uh, hopefully you've listened to our first couple of generic baritone euphonium videos on how you hold the instrument safely, how you buzz your lips and how you make your first few notes. But we're going to take things a little slower for you so to get you really used to playing the first three notes on the baritone. So let's remember by how we first of all buzz our lips. We make the shape of the letter P, as though we're going to say the letter P or pirate or pickle, and we hold that shape with our lips, quite relaxed, and as we're doing that we're going to just blow some air through our lips and hopefully make them vibrate. And importantly it's a little warm up, like any good musician will warm up, any good sports person will warm up as well. So it's going to take the mouthpiece out, either hand's fine, and we're going to just make that buzz on the mouthpiece, but importantly when you're starting out, try to get the lips to buzz first and then add the mouthpiece. Don't start with the mouthpiece on the face. So I'm going to check my lips are buzzing. And if you've got a piano handy, try and play a B flat on the piano and try and match that same sound. So once you've got a nice solid buzz, pop it back in the instrument. Remember how you hold it safely, cradling a baby, three fingers, middle fingers on your vowels with a little tennis ball shape. And I'm going to try and play that note for C one more time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you some C's and I'm going to give you a little bit of time in between to be able to play them back to me. So for instance, I'll play this. Same exercise again, but this time we're going to remember about what we do with our tongue. So we're going to make sure that our tongue here, on the start of every note, is flicking behind the tip of our top teeth with a da, 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 and the air is going to keep going. So when you're doing this at home, Nikki, make sure we try to play this style where the notes link together but are clearly heard because you're using your tongue. So you're aiming to make it flow as much as you can. So with the tongue in mind, let's try that once more. Your turn. Tongue each note. comfortable on that. Nikki. now we're going to remember to play the D. So we've got C sorted out and if you're happy with that note we're going to pop down our outside two valves, number one, number three. Same sort of exercise, I'll play and then play it back. Now we're going to mix them up. Okay, so now we're going to finally add the note E. So I'm going to play the note C, D, and then E, and then I want you to play them back. So the note you remember your first and second, the two vowels closest to your mouthpiece. three notes we'll try them in reverse so this is going to be your first tune three blind mice the beginning of three blind mice e d and c
Now you'll hopefully notice, Nikki, that when you're playing, your length of notes are the same as mine. So again, when we're moving the vowels between the notes, we keep the air going, and the tongue and the air and the valve all arrive at the same time. So a lot of beginner players will start off doing this. Stopping, moving the valves. Stopping, moving the valves. So we get this effect. We're going to try and aim to be a little bit smarter than that. We're going to try and play in a continuous way. So the air keeps going, the valve and the tongue arrive together. So there's your first three notes to practice, Nikki. Hope you enjoy it. And in the next video, we'll add F and G when you're comfortable with those first three. Good luck.